so what's up guys it is july of 2021 um i wanted to do a little bit of an update because i am now one day short of two months post-op uh well yeah two months post-op um so basically now i'm having no pain no discharge anymore no effects from the procedure so um soon i will be cleared for work um i have an appointment next week well this week coming up um to be cleared for work is my last post-op appointment um i healed well uh i healed in time it took a little bit longer um two months so eight weeks but um <laughs> eight weeks but uh it usually takes about six weeks on average um so eight weeks um but i healed well i have scars that i do want to show you um, it's uh just this little dot right here you can barely see it but in real life you actually can see it a little bit more um and this dot right here um my belly button incision is basically not visible you could see it from the top you can see this little cut right there but that's it um so my scars are visible but there and my incisions are all healed everything's all good and um when i do get cleared i want to get a full-time job i'm not going to talk about my business on here too much but i do have i do ha get ssi payments for my disabilities um but one month last year they didn't pay me so i called a couple times and my mom had to call because she's my payee um they won't tell me anything because i have bipolar and i have anxiety disorder so they i have to have a representative basically so um they haven't called her back about it they didn't call her back about it basically and then they sent me a letter saying that they overpaid me 600 and something dollars and they said they sent a payment of 700 and something dollars um to my bank account that month and they didn't send a payment at all so i'm like wait wait wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if you did pay me yes i would owe you 600 dollars because i was working at the time but you didn't pay me at all so you really actually owe me a hundred and something dollars so what's going on no explanation from them so i'm done guessing what my income is going to be for that month i would rather have a steady income with an average amount of hours um a, a good steady average amount of hours um and i want it to be full time so i can get more money <laughs> um that's yeah i'm just done guessing um so yeah that's it with that uh i'm gonna get a job soon be cleared for work in the next week uh I have a top surgery consult with Dr. DeLucia. Uh, I think it's in Farmington or something in Connecticut. Um, on September 1st, like I said, uh, with Dr. DeLucia. Um, I was actually referred to him by a couple of people and my, also my endocrinologist. So I trust, I trust them. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie. If I do have to get double incision, I'm not going to get top surgery. Um, I would rather just work out my chest. Um, I'm just wearing tape right now, so it's not bad. Like, it's not like I have to bind too much. I just have to wear tape, which is kind of not even a lot irritating um, to my skin and irritating to <laughs> wear. Uh, it's itchy sometimes because I wear it constantly almost but uh better than a binder so I, w I would love to get top surgery and get keyhole but if i have to get double incision i'm not getting it i can't do the scars personally i love seeing dudes get their top surgery and loving it but i would not love it because if i had scars it would bother me more um than having my chest so 
yeah but um yeah september 1st we'll look out for that and uh i also grew out my mustache <laughs> I grew out my mustache because I usually let the baby hairs on the bottom go and I cut this top part um, and I pencil it in but I decided just to grow the whole damn thing out um, it looks nice too because um, I'm getting a little bit of a beard it's underneath here it's underneath there it's shadowy so I decided to grow it out um, yeah and also uh I don't know. I've been spending my days pretty much uh, helping my girlfriend because she is recovering from a surgery right now. I'm not going to hear out her business, but um, this this journey of hers that I'm helping her with is teaching me things and helping me accomplish things that I never thought I would. So, uh, like, I don't know. I'm thankful that I could go through this, I guess, with her, so, um, yeah, but, uh, I've been helping my girlfriend recover from her surgery, helping her with my stepson, and stuff like that, so, uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing with my days, waiting on my top surgery consult, waiting to get clear for work, and helping out my girlfriend, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for July of 2021, um, yeah, look out for my top surgery consult videos and um, just maybe a little more updates. But that's pretty much it. Yep. Peace.